What's up, Metal Jim? And this is Metal Jim Show. Today is an album review. Obviously, you know the album from the title on the fucking uh, Click Gamer Dervish on the old Google machine. Before we actually review the album and listen to some songs, let's tell you how this album review is going to go. I don't know why I have to keep thinking and looking in the sky like, oh, words. That's because you're stupid. So, obviously we're going to rate the entire album. Duh. But then we're going to pick a Metal Jim's favorite song. So it'll be the best song of the album, in my opinion. Then we're going to have Metal Jim's not the best song that I don't like. But that's okay if I don't like it, because you might. I'm just telling you what's going on. It's a review. You don't have to listen to reviews, but you should listen to mine. We're reviewing Genotype's new album, 2017. Now, Genotype is a band that I saw, I want to say last year at a very small venue uh, in Madison somewhere. Um, and, uh, you know, they got on the stage and I was kind of like, oh, well, let's see how good these guys are. Uh, and they started singing. And then they started meddling. And then my head started going like this, really hard and just harder and harder. And so I got into this band. And, and they're, they're fucking awesome. I like them very much. They're, they're a great live. They're a great live band. Geotype hails from the Illinois state of Illinois. You're so wise. And they've been at this for, uh, I don't know, about five, six years. I could be wrong, I could be right. I don't research things before I say them. So their new album is called Genotype 3. No, really, it's called Genotype 3. That's their album. It's called Genotype 3. There's the three. It's, it's like uh, episodes in a movie or something. Uh, episode 3. The album artwork is actually uh, pretty dope. Uh, it's very purple, so it grabs your attention. Uh, that's what you want in an album, to be honest. Uh, the artwork... Um, if you can, uh, oh, maybe not. Uh, 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 just put it over on the screen here. I'll hit it right here. The artwork uh, has gears in the background. It's... Uh, it's really, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's like robotic and just like synthetic and it's really cool and I don't know any of those words. In the back uh, shows you all the songs, uh, show me your songs, and uh, they have 11 songs, most of them we'll go through. Uh, you open it up and uh, you get the band members here, all of them, and they'll sign your shit if, you, if, if you're nice enough and you, and you see them live, which you will, or I'll punch you in the butt. It's, 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 a, it's a cool, uh, it grabs your attention. It's a very good uh, album uh, artwork. Uh, I like it a lot. It grabs your attention. It's not like, oh, look at this bullshit. It's like, look at this shit. One song I'd like to talk about right away uh, is uh, the second song on the album. It's called Defiance, and it's very good. Let's listen to it. So the beginning of the song is actually, uh, she serenades you, she, I, I, I want to say the word, she seduces you with her, with her, uh, her voice. She's like, hey, is this going to be just a normal, like, little soft song? Then the next verse, uh, after all that, she breaks your dick off. That's all right, no kind to instruct you, let us just reach your let it go. song on the album, uh, the third track, is called Cyberfy, which is like, I don't know, like, it's like sci-fi, but cyber, cyberdyne, Terminator, words I know, the. The beginning of the song, um, it's uh, robotic. It's like, nah, nah. and then and then you hear, uh, you know, her obviously, <laughs> and then this the guitar player says, "Watch this shit." Better, 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 better. Dissension, they got you. Data joy. Dissension, they got you. 
So that's that's Cyberfine. That's the third track. That's very very good. It's a very good mosh song. Uh, right away when you hear it live, most likely, uh, you, you know, you're gonna break some shit. The fifth album on the track is called Light Worker, and uh, are you stupid or something? It's it's very good. It's very nice. It's it's a nice cool down before um, you know you get kicked in the crotch again with metal. So uh, we'll hear some of this song. I, I really enjoy listening to it. I when I'm having a bad day. That, that's what it's really for. what the song is it's light it's nice it's soft it's good it's, it's very it's very nice if you if, like if you're having a bad day put some headphones in go to a dark spot because if you went to a light spot that wouldn't be metal and uh it just and just listen to the song that's what that's what it's there for it's wonderful so that was two three and five uh the beginning of the album one through five is very good six through nine is weird uh the singer katie Caddy? K-A-D-I-E. K K Call her K. K's voice is different in each and every one. And that's what I'm hearing. Now, six through nine is strange to me. Because it doesn't sound like her in a lot of the parts. Except for the screen parts, that's definitely her. But the parts where she's just doing her normal... That's a terrible impression, and I apologize. So... For, I'll give you examples for six through nine. saying that six through nine are shit songs. I'm just saying they sound like someone else. Now, does that make them shitty? Of course not. They're, you know, they're good. Uh, once nine hits, it, it, seem, it sounds like she's coming back to her normal voice. I don't know how to explain it. But, um, but then track 10 hits, and it's called Temple of Saturn. And this song kicks so much ass that your ass falls off because it's sick of getting kicked. Go ahead and play it. Look into the sky! Break away the mundane, open your eyes And see the poison up above They want to kill all broken down and lost Control the population So right away it's str So right away it's the Temple of Saturn Oh, I'm so precious uh, Right away the Temple of Saturn comes comes to you like uh, And then it goes About two minutes in uh, and then this awesome fucking party comes. The last song on their album is called Prior Prior Men Prior Prior Men Prior Men. This song is meant to not only close an album but to let you meditate on what you just listened to. 
And I, what I mean by that is that you could literally put your headphones in for this one and go meditate. It has everything you want in kind of a like a, like a, like a synthetic kind of metal way. And to prove what I'm talking about, let's just listen to the song so you stop saying, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> starts to get, it progresses into something even better, and I'll show you. Let's start with the first ring. What is the best song in Metal Jim's opinion on the album? Number one song. So that was a tough choice for me between Defiance and Temple of Saturn, but I did pick, and guess what? Temple of Saturn is the best song on the album. Metal Jim's opinion. It's an awesome song. It's a song you can keep playing over and over again. But I don't recommend that because your neck is really gonna fucking hurt. My neck, my back, lick my... Now Metal Jim's least favorite song, the one you skip over the most, is Dark Star. Dark Star is the one that's featuring Michelle and Afterglow. Um, I, I'm just not a fan of this song. Now it's time to rate the entire album as a whole. As And what do we look for a rating? Um, we, us, us shitty reviewers, people who don't actually make music and judge all of it because we're cocksuckers. I'm shitting on myself, so it's okay. I give it 10 steroid out Arnold Schwarzeneggers out of 13... Uh, uh, shot up Terminators. <laughs> that has been my review of Genotype 3. You can check out Genotype on Genotype on Facebook, Genotype Band, YouTube, I'm sure they have a Twitter, Instagram. Remember, I don't research things before I say them. I hope you like that review of an album. That's how I'm going to do more album reviews. We're going to break it down like so. Um, and if you really liked it, leave a comment and a like. And if you didn't like it, leave a comment and a like and you, to like how much you didn't like it. And then make sure you share the video because, you know, only assholes don't share. <laughs>